On East Meadow Drive in Vail, you will find a beautiful jewelry shop. It's called Carrots, and Dan Tallene, the owner, has been around for a long time, makes custom jewelry, and he brings in a bunch of folks from all over the place. So now, all the way from Indonesia, is that correct? Bali. Yeah. Bali. We have Carolyn Tyler and Angelo Santos. Hi. 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 Carolyn, it's always a pleasure to see you because I feel like you bring in like a little exotic, uh, you know, culture and I feel like I want to be by the water when I'm when I'm talking to you. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of water in Bali mm -hmm. everywhere. If I'm not at the ocean, we've got the rivers, the waterfalls, the rain. And does that inspire your work a little? It does. Yeah. It really does. I think a lot of the colors I use are very watery colors, blues definitely. and greens. And you have, all of your jewelry is handmade. Yes, 100% handmade from scratch. With a lump, We start with a lump of gold and mm -hmm. we make all our own wire, all our own gold, uh, flat gold plate and granulation work, which they're so known for. The Balinese are really good at that. And it's so nice that you bring it here. And Angelo, welcome to the area too. <laughs> and now you. you've helped on the inspirational side and your collection that you have right now is it's kind of, you've got some, inspiration behind it. So tell us about that, Angela. Well, I mean, all the designs are from Carolyn, but um, we have spent a lot of time traveling to different countries. We've been to Bhutan, we live in Bali, and uh, she's also uh, very knowledgeable with anthropology and the aspect of symbols and religion. Mm -hmm. And symbols have their own power, just like logos for companies. Mm -hmm. They create like the M for McDonald's, it's so ubiquitous, it, it goes right into the subconscious. She craftsly, um, beautifully crafts that into her jewelry. And that's it, something we're looking at right now, what's this? Oh, this is a Ganesh. This is a, a Hindu god remover of obstacles. Oh. Ganesh is a real character. <laughs> and this is carved in black opal with ruby eyes. Oh, wow, absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna take a, like a spiritual walk right now because that's what Carolyn is highlighting right now. So as you can see, lots of colors in her jewelry, but lots of spirituality in this collection as well. Yes, mm -hmm. that's. I'm sort of on a theme right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I've got, uh, this is, uh, Angela was wearing the Hopi Zia symbol of mm -hmm. the sun. Okay. And it's very popular in Santa Fe in New Mexico. This is the national, I think it's uh, not national, it's the state symbol. And uh, I've, I've got um, Christianity represented over there and I'm wearing a Buddha myself. Yeah. I've got a couple of Buddhas in little caves, uh, carved amber and a lapis lazuli over there. And lots of beautiful stones too. I know you love opals, but what else yes. are we gonna find in your collection? I have absolutely every gemstone there okay. is in the, in the store today. Mm -hmm. And I've got something for everybody too. I have small rings that are stacking rings. They start at $650, 22 karat gold, and goes all the way up to very elaborate red carpet red carpet style necklaces. Right, yeah, the big, the big and the beautiful. Mm -hmm. And That's then right. gold is really your medium, correct? Yes, gold, mm -hmm. but I'm also mixing silver and gold okay. too, and I've done some solid silver pieces. Angela's wearing a silver bracelet, and the pendant I'm wearing is a mixture of um, silver so and gold. And if you can see on the, the back here, I've got the ohm symbol. And that's what we're going to find, like little um, surprises, surprises in some of your jewelry when you flip it over like this one. Here we are looking at um, Buddha, right? Yes, yeah, that's Buddha that's so in pretty. a lapis lazuli cave, and it, I think it's a green jade Buddha. But um, yeah, I've got... And wait, right in the corner, the snake earrings. Yes. Those are calling me. Like, is that a spiritual that's thing a as well? That's a very Greek sort of religious symbol. Myth, myth, the Mithra cult used a lot of snakes and um, I like that. I like snakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's like something I should look into, but I think that they make really beautiful jewelry. And I, so do you, oh, Carolyn. Oh, thank you. And I just wanted to shout out to a friend and client, Amy, who came mm. into the store yesterday. Amy, <laughs> Hi, <laughs> it was Amy. so nice to see you. Thanks for shopping. Okay, <laughs> and so the Carolyn Tyler collection is at Carrots through tomorrow, through Saturday, the 30th. Yes. So if you're looking for something unique, something from Bali that is all custom and handmade, Come, go talk to Carolyn. You're going to get a story. Oh, there's my earrings. You're going to get a story behind the jewelry, and you're really just going to enjoy taking a look at all her gorgeous pieces. Always a pleasure to see you. Carolyn is at Carrots, and she's there until Saturday evening.